Good morning, everybody. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's about 1030 a.m. Central Time on Wednesday, June 19th. Coming on this morning to give you an update on what is now Tropical Storm Alberto, which has uh, changed a little bit in structure overnight and early this morning. It's become a lot better organized and is now a tropical storm. We have the center of the system. Uh, centered here over the uh, still over the southern Gulf of Mexico, but you can see the circulations become much better defined as compared to yesterday. And we had a lot more shower and thunderstorm activity developing near the center. So now uh, this system meets all the criteria to be called a tropical cyclone. So it's now a tropical storm. Given the name Alberto, the first one of the Atlantic hurricane season, maximum sustained winds are still around 40 miles per hour. Uh, but in terms of the impacts, really nothing has changed. Uh, we're still expecting widespread heavy rainfall, flash flooding, coastal flooding along much of the coast of Texas, uh, tropical storm conditions, and a risk of tornadoes. And we'll go through all those hazards here this morning. As we zoom out a little bit, you can still see that while the center of Alberto is centered here over the uh, south, uh, southern portion of the Gulf of Mexico, uh, the heavy weather and the heavy rainfall is way to the north still with, with this band of tropical storm force winds and rain moving along the Texas coast, moderate to heavy rainfall here in these bands. And that rainfall is going to continue uh, through the day today and into tonight and even into Thursday uh, as it moves, as the system moves gradually to the west and makes landfall along the coast of Mexico uh, early Thursday morning. Uh, but right now, if you take a look at the radar, you can see this expanse of moderate to heavy rainfall moving on shore. The heaviest rainfall right now is uh, sort of in the middle Texas coast near the Corpus Christi area north of Brownsville. You see these greens and yellows. So we are expecting the rainfall intensity to pick up during the day today. We could see in some locations uh, three to two to three inches of rainfall per hour. Some locations could approach four inches per hour. So even though parts of this area have been pretty dry over the last few weeks, those types of rainfall rates, uh, especially if they occur in urban areas, can result in some quickly developing flash flooding conditions. So uh, as a result of that, and we have a fl flood watches in effect uh, from Galveston across to Victoria, south of San Antonio, through Corpus Christi, Laredo, Eagle Pass, down to Brownsville for the potential of that flooding and flash flooding to develop uh, through the day today into tonight and into Thursday. Uh, the rainfall totals, we're still expecting widespread totals of five to 10 inches, especially south of a line from say roughly you know, Galveston to San Antonio down here in South Texas near Corpus Christi, west of Brownsville. Could see some isolated totals a little higher than 10 inches or so. But this, this type of heavy rainfall, especially if it occurs again with those high rainfall rates in a short period of time, could result in some flash flooding. And the highest risk of that flash flooding today is in this red area. This is through tomorrow morning through Thursday morning from Victoria to Corpus Christi, Laredo, Brownsville, with the risk of flash flooding extending north of that area to just uh, south of San Antonio up into the Houston Galveston area. As we go for the day Thursday into Friday, that risk of flash flooding will continue across deep south Texas and then spread a little bit westward as well. So remember, if you're out and about and, and you come across a flooded roadway, don't drive into that water. You don't know how deep it is. It only only takes a few inches of moving water to move your car and please don't drive around barricades turn around don't drown don't become a statistic driving into a flooded roadway on the coastal flooding front we've seen some um, some significant inundation along portions of the texas coast this morning with the, this morning's high tide cycle we're still expecting that sort of two to four feet of inundation uh, all the way into tomorrow morning's high tide cycle across portions of the texas coast from sergeant up to sabine pass including galveston bay uh, the water level actually at San Luis Pass got up to about three or four feet above ground level this morning in, uh, with the uh, NOAA tide gauge there around the time of high tide. And we could still see inundation of one to three feet south of Sargent all the way down to the mouth of the Rio Grande and east of Sabine Pass across portions of southwestern Louisiana. But again, coastal flood warnings continue for the entire coast from uh, southwest Louisiana all the way down through the Texas coast. Very dangerous surf and rip current conditions along much of the northwestern Gulf Coast is not a place you want to be out in the water today or into tomorrow as well. On the wind front, again, Alberto has a very, very large wind field. Tropical storm force winds extend out as far as this orange area goes, you know, hundreds of miles, more than 300 miles to the north of the center. That's why we have that tropical storm warning in effect all the way from Port O'Connor down to the mouth of the Rio Grande through northern Mexico. And you can see the track forecast of the center, even though the center is going to be moving due west 
toward the coast of Mexico, those tropical storm conditions are going to continue along much of the Texas coast from just south and west of Galveston down through Corpus Christi down to Brownsville. Everywhere you see in blue here is at risk of seeing those tropical storm force winds, especially in gusts, especially with squalls with those rain bands as they move on shore. Uh, there is also a risk of tornadoes, uh, especially later today and into tonight across everywhere you see in green here in southeastern and southern Texas, Houston, Galveston, San Antonio, down to Corpus Christi and Brownsville. So again, multiple hazards in play. Uh, as uh, Alberto does move inland, uh, the conditions will gradually start to improve along the Texas coast as we go through the day tomorrow. But we still got at least another 24 hours of relatively hazardous conditions, heavy rainfall, coastal flooding, and the threat of tropical storm force winds. So make sure uh, you have multiple ways to get emergency information, weather alerts through NOAA weather radio, through the wireless emergency alerts on your smartphone or through weather apps, and make sure you stay safe through today and tonight. We'll be back with more updates later on Tropical Storm Alberto. I'm Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center.